Whether you're new to the world of wine, or you're an already an avid collector, or whether you're building a custom home or looking to add a home wine cellar to your current home, I'm going to give you three considerations today to think about when you're adding this home wine cellar, and at the end, I'm going to tell you about the number one budget item that people sometimes forget. I'm Bella Genitasio, I'm the Selections Manager at GTG Builders. Thanks for watching today's video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you're notified of our future videos. So the three considerations we're going to talk about today are size, function, and design. So for size, how much of your home living space are you willing to dedicate to your wine cellar? Is it a closet? Is it under the stairs storage space? Or is it a portion of your basement? This is going to determine how much wine you can fit in your wine cellar. Maybe you already have a collection started. Maybe you're just looking to store some wine for the holidays or when family and friends come over. Um, it's really going to depend, again, how much room in your home you're willing to dedicate to your wine collection. Number two, function. Are you looking to have family gatherings and entertain in your wine cellar? Could you set up a really cool place for wine tastings and charcuterie boards and places to sit and be comfortable within your wine cellar or with just a great view of your wine cellar? Is it maybe a glass wall with some cool glass doors? Uh, mood lighting, kind of that stuff. So what function are you looking for? Do you want to be in the room? Do you want to see the room? Does it need to be more central in your home? Do you want to be able to access it from the kitchen and dining room? Could it be a cool glass wall between your kitchen and dining room? All of these things you see on Pinterest, cool little ideas, but they can really come into play in your home and they don't have to be super expensive. Design. For design, you really have to consider how many wine bottles you're going to have. If you need more wine storage, we're going to recommend wood racking systems maybe on the sides, but you could have a showcase of a few different bottles, whether it's shelving or more of a peg system um, with some lights and glass. But if you don't have a huge collection, maybe we can do one wall with some pegs and a more showcase. But it really, again, depends what size collection you're going to have. And when you're thinking about design, think about do you like the clean look of tile on the floor and walls? Or do you like the idea of maybe a cool wallpaper and wood racking for a more traditional look? The design is really the fun part of the wine cellar after you've decided how much wine you're really going to drink. So that last item that a lot of people forget to budget for is the cost of actually starting your wine collection. So if you're a wine collector already and your basement's full of wine bottles, maybe you need to budget just time of going through and organizing those bottles. But if you're new to the world, you need to decide how much money you're going to spend on that new collection and getting it started because you're going to be really excited to use your new home wine cellar. 